that disease you're praying for to go away, it's not going away. You've prayed long and hard, you've prayed with great faith, but nothing seems to happen. The TV evangelists that you perhaps are listening to are saying that that disease will go away then and there, but nothing seems to happen in your life. What does the Bible say? In Romans chapter 8, verse 23, the Bible says that we eagerly await for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. We eagerly await for the redemption of our bodies. That's what the Bible says in Romans 8.23. While at times healing happens here and now, the Bible also says healing happens in a future time. We await the redemption of our bodies, the Bible says. When Jesus returns, when we die and get to heaven, uh, heaven is a place where there is no pain. That is when we receive complete healing. But while we are on earth, we receive the first fruits, the same passage says. Uh, I received several first fruits of miraculous healing in my life. When my daughter was declared without heartbeat by our medical scan when she was in our mother's womb, we prayed, Ivan and I prayed, and God did a miracle. The heartbeat was there the next time we went to scan. And today, Datasha, my daughter, is a normal 10-year-old girl. We received a miracle from God. I received a healing in my body when I had asthma when I was in college, doing agriculture engineering in Allahabad. I prayed for God to heal me. And that asthma attack never came again. A few days ago, when I was about to preach in a large church in a national youth conference, I had severe back pain and a severe stomach pain. Very, very severe. But miraculously, before I got to stage, when I prayed, God healed. I believe God heals here and now, but it's subject to His will. The miracle is not in your mouth. The miracle is subject to the will of God. That's what the passage here says. The Bible says that Paul, in 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 20, left Trophimus sick at Miletus. Trophimus was his ministry member. Uh, the Bible says in Acts chapter 19 that people would touch Paul's body uh, with their hankies and those hankies, even through those hankies, God healed people. But Trophimus was not healed when Paul prayed for healing in 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 20. So Paul had to leave him and carry on with the ministry. Again, underlining the truth that there are times when God heals here and now, but there are times when He does not for reasons best known to Him. So what should we do? Luke 18, 1 says, we must go on praying without quitting. We must never give up while praying for healing, while praying for miracles. God bless you.